Hello and welcome to Mastering Playwright Test Automation with TypeScript. This is the first lecture of this whole course. So in this lecture, we will be looking at how you set up your development environment. This means all the dependencies, all the programming frameworks and the integrated development environment details will be provided in this lesson. So make sure you repeat it multiple times until you get it right. This is the most important bit of the whole course because this is where you set up your environment environment is like a foundation so if you do have got the right foundation you will succeed so let's get started all right so before we start let's make sure our system meets all the requirements so node.js is the basic requirement for playwright because playwright is a library for node.js the way we install node.js is if you go to node.js.org you will see the two download options Go for the one on the left hand side which says LTS. LTS means long term support. Current version may have some bugs so it's not the best idea to install that one. So click on it and it will give you an option to download, save and run the setup it will go to the next 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 finish. Do the same thing with Visual Studio Code. So if you go to code.visualstudio.com forward slash download, choose the one that is right for your operating system and download that and do the installation. So once you have got the Node.js and the Visual Studio Code, it's time to check if your system is configured correctly so open a terminal app and in the terminal app just type node-v so it will tell you what node version you have got and that type npm-v that will tell you what node package manager or npm version you have got installed i've got number 18 which is also fine because as you can see in the system requirements it should be 16 or above so the first thing we can do over here is i'm gonna i've got a folder called workspace you can have any kind of folder in this folder, I'm going to create a new project. So let's call it MKDIR. MKDIR basically is used to make directory. And I'm going to say, uh, this is a folder for Playwright Hello World. So I'm going to go inside the Playwright Hello World project. Let me increase the font size so that you can see it more clearly. So in this play, play, Playwright Hello World project, the first command I'm going to run is, let's go to the documentation. So on the playwright.dev, you can see docs for slash intro. Here you have the documentation for installing Playwright. So in that folder, you can just copy this command, Playwright init, sorry, npm init Playwright at, at the latest. This will install the Playwright. It will ask you, uh, do you want to install the, this package? I would say yes. Now it's asking you, do you want it for TypeScript or JavaScript? I want it for TypeScript. Where to put your end-to-end -end test? Just say test, test folder, that's correct. Do you want GitHub action? No, so just do no. Install Playwright browsers, yes. And what this does is it generates a file called package.json and it adds Playwright as a dependency in the package.json. So as you can see, the next step it did was installing Playwright and it ran the command install npm install save dev playwright test and now it's adding the dependencies for the browsers so it's installing chromium ffmpeg codec for the video recording the firefox webkit so all of them has been added now if i do cat and package json i can see playwright as a dependency and types as a dependency so this means you have done it correctly. You have got Playwright installed uh, and you have got TypeScript installed on your pr new project called Playwright Hello World. So le let me open this in the Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna go back to that search bar, that Visual Studio Code app. Now in the Visual Studio Code app, I want to make sure that you have got the right extensions installed. So on the left hand side, if you don't see this uh, uh, block menu, like, like I can't see it right now, I'm gonna go and do a right click and select extensions. This basically allows me to download an extension for the Visual Studio Code. And the extension that you need is called Playwright. And this is the Playwright test for VS Code extension. I've already installed it uh, for yourself. You can just click on install like, like this option over here. You would see over here. And this is a verified extension by Microsoft. So Microsoft published it itself. So you have no reason not to trust it. So once you have got this extension, your Visual Studio Code is ready. You can import that folder by clicking on open folder and going to that location. So from my setup, it was in the workspace folder. So I've opened that folder and you can see the command that we ran earlier has created this directory structure. And this is the same package JSON file that we saw earlier. 
So it has got package JSON file, which contains all the dependency. And then it has got package dash log dot JSON, which has got the detailed version of the dependency. You don't need to touch this file at all. That is automatically generated. Whenever you make changes to package JSON, it's reflected in package log dot JSON. We'll come to it why th that uh, it's done that way. And it also contains a basic example test. And if you have got the right extension, uh, which is a playwright extension, you can see this play button on the left hand side, which will allow you to run these tests. So if I click on play, you can see something is happening at the bottom of my screen. It ran a test and it has passed the test. So there you go, guys. So you have got the basic setup ready for your automation testing with Playwright and TypeScript. It's time to move on to our next lesson. Well done. You have just set up your development environment. What are your thoughts? Make sure you mention your thoughts in the comments. The main idea of this video was to get you started with the right set of tools. In the next video, we will be covering how you write your first Playwright test. I'm really excited. So see you in the next video.